be the name of the Lord. Amen. I am, I am Pastor Dr. Jerry Udo, the senior pastor Gilgad Christian Center, headquartered in the United States of America. I want to welcome you back into uh, another episode of This Is Your Season. This is a time that I pray with you. This is the time I usher you into the presence of the Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit. And we call this, this is your season for a reason. Because there's that season, that appointed time that God has kept for your breakthrough. You might have been praying, fasting, doing the work of God. But I come this season to tell you that your season for answer prayer is here. Your season for breakthrough Amen. has come. Amen. Your season for healing has come. Amen. Your season for deliverance is here. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you can only understand, if you can only begin to get the revelation in the spirit and then be able to tap into this season, it's not about how long I pray for you. It is about the move of the power of the spirit of God and believe you me, the Holy Spirit is here. Amen. Long standing problems are going to be rolled away today. Amen. That situation that defiles uh, solutions uh, for all this number of years, those situations are breaking uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit uh, today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before I pray for you, I want you to listen. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, the Bible says it's a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. It's what? A dreadful thing to fall. A terrible thing to fall into the hands of the almighty God. What does it mean to fall into the hand? To fall into the hands means to dare God. To challenge the authority of God. To mess with the things of the people that have been dedicated to God. Ah, to incur the wrath of God. If you look at the book of Daniel chapter 5. You hear a king called King Belshazzar. The son of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. What happened was that he used the things that were dedicated to God that the father confiscated from the temple in Jerusalem, he used those things, the golden utensils, to make merriment with prostitutes, not only that, while pressing the God of Baal. Now, I want to understand, these things were dedicated to God, and he made a mistake of his life by using what had been dedicated to God to praise the God of Baal and make merriment with prostitutes. In other words, he defiled the things that have been deemed holy unto God. Why do I bring this up? You look at 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. The Bible says you are what? A chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. What is the underline? He said for his own what? Possession. In other words, he said that you may proclaim the excellencies of him that call you out of darkness into his marvelous light. What does this mean? It means that you are God's possession. When you are dedicated to God, when you become born again, you become dedicated to God, you become God's possession, you become holy unto God. Oh, my Katarabasha. If only you can understand who you are before the Lord. You know what? If anything or anybody tampers with your glory, if any demon, any witch or wizard, any agent of darkness tampers with your glory, 
is an insult to your God. He will incur the wrath of God. I understand it's a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. Oh, shout hallelujah. I don't know if you're already excited because the problem most of us have is that we don't even know who we are in God. I didn't come here to preach, but I just come to remind you how valuable you are before God. I come to remind you how holy you are unto Him. I come to remind you of God's possession. In other words, without the permission of God, nobody can mess with you. No power can mess with you. No demon can mess with you. Oh, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for you. If you're ready, tap into this move right now. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. That anything, any man or woman, any power that is messing with your glory, I command that power to receive the wrath of God. Amen. Receive the wrath of God. Amen. Any man or woman that vows that you will not fulfill destiny, I say you are a liar. Yes. I snatch your destiny from their hands. Amen. I snatch your stars from their hands. I snatch your glory from their hands. I snatch your head from their hands. By the blood of Jesus Christ. I snatch, I ransom you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I ransom your head. I ransom your marriage. I ransom your children. I ransom your career. I ransom your spiritual life. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Makarabo <laughs> shekete. I said everything on fire that they have used to cover your glory. Whatever they have used to cover your destiny. I said that thing on fire. Every filthiness in your life. I come out to catch fire. Every mask, demonic covering. I come out to catch fire. Evil plantation in your life. I come out to catch fire. Whatever that is not planted by my heavenly Father in your life cannot come from God. Therefore, I set that thing on fire and release the terrible fire of God upon the roots of evil plantation in your life. And I burn them to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makarabo sheke, maribababa roko toshende, makiarabo kotoshinda rababa. I release the paralyzing wind of God upon every altar, upon every power that manipulates your glory. Get the wild wind of God. Go forth with fury. I continue while we and let it rest with pain upon the heads of the wicked. Rest with pain upon the heads of witches and wizards. Rest with pain upon the heads of the enemies of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. You are set free today. This is your season. If only you believe that tap into the move of God. Tell yourself, I am free. I am free. My children are free. My, children. my marriage is free. My, my health is free. My health is the works of my hands are free. My spiritual hands. life is free. Life In the name of Jesus Christ. Name. Because Jesus has set us free. Yeah. We can no longer no be bound. Amen. Chains are broken. Amen. Captivities are destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go in that freedom. Go with the power of the Lord. Come back with your testimonies. Amen. Tell us what the God of Kilgar Christian Center, the God of Pastor Dr. Jerry Udall, has done in your life. Amen. I soak you the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. with the fire of the Holy Spirit. 
In Jesus' name we pray. We know chains have been broken and many delivered. Please send in your testimonies and prayer requests so together we go before the Lord in prayer. As a prayer answering God, we know there will be a mighty breakthrough in your situation. Be blessed till we meet again same time. Gilgal Christian Center, where roll away.